Hi, in this problem we have a probability density function and x here is a continuous random variable. And we're going to find a couple things. We're going to find the mean, we're going to find the variance, and we're also going to find what's called the standard deviation. So all three things. So let's go ahead and start uh, by finding the mean. So the mean is mu, and it's equal to the expected value of x. And this is defined as follows. It's the definite integral from a to b of x times f of x, where f of x is the probability density function, or x. So this is equal to the definite integral. So a here is negative 2 and b is 1. So this is negative 2 is 1. So we have x times 1 third x squared dx. Now we can multiply these. So this is equal to negative 2, 1. This will be 1 third x cubed dx. And to integrate this, we'll use the power rule, which basically says we add 1 to the exponent here. It'll give us a 4, and then we divide by 4. So mu is equal to, so it'll be 1 third x to the 4th over 4, and we're going from negative 2 to 1. It's equal to 3 times 4 is 12, so you have 1 12th x to the 4th, and we're going from negative 2 to 1. Now we'll plug in the first number, the one up top, the 1. This is equal to 1 12th. I'm going to put a parenthesis here. Plugging in the 1, we get 1 to the 4th minus, and then plugging in negative 2, we have negative 2 to the 4th. Keep going. So mu is going to be equal to 1 12th. So it's 1 minus 16, because 2 to the 4th is 16 will be negative 15, because uh, 2 to the 4th is 16. Yep, looks OK. This is negative 15 over 12. So that's going to be our expected value for x. Really, really nice. OK, you can actually simplify this a little bit. Let's do that, I guess. So 3 goes into 15 uh, five times, so it's negative 5 over 4. That will be our mu. Let's leave it like that. A little bit nicer than this over here. All right, so now we have to find uh, the variance. So recall that the variance, let me switch colors here, is given by the following convenient formula. Sigma squared is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared, which is mu, right, which is mu. So all we really need to do now is work out this piece here and then use this formula. I'm going to put this in a box so we don't lose it. So let's go ahead and find the expected value of x squared. That's the definite integral from a to b. Remember here that uh, we have negative 2 and 1 because a is negative 2 and b is 1. And it's just x squared times our density function, which was uh, up here, which is 1 third x squared. I don't have this written down anywhere, so 1 third. I haven't done this before, so this is kind of, kind of an interesting problem. So we have the expected value of x squared. This is equal to, we can multiply these and add the exponents. So that's going to give us x to the fourth, going from negative 2 to 1, 1 third x to the fourth dx. And now we can integrate. So it'll be x to the 5 over 5. So we have 1 third x to the 5 
over five, and we're going from negative two to one. My fives look pretty bad there. This is one over 15, x to the five, and we're going from negative two to one. All right, so this is equal to, we plug in the one, so you have one fifteenth, you have one to the fifth, which is one, minus negative two to the fifth. That. This is one over 15, one, and then it's a negative number being raised to an odd power, so it's gonna become negative. So it'll be 32, it'll be negative 32. So this is going to be equal to 1 15th, one plus 32, so 33. And this is nice because uh, three goes into 33 11 times, and it goes into um, uh, 15, five times. We have 11 fifths. Yeah, three goes into that 11 times, goes into that five. All right, that's the expected value of x squared. That's going to be 11 over five. All right, so, and then our mu was up here, negative five fourths. So let's go ahead and use our formula. So recall mu is negative five fourths. Put that in a box here again. And the formula says it's sigma squared. This is the variance. It's the expected value of x squared minus uh, mu squared, or, mu, or the expected value of x quantity squared. This is 11 fifths minus negative 5 fourths squared. So sigma squared is going to be 11 fifths minus 25 over 16. Now we need to find uh, a common denominator um, that will work, that's easy to use. Uh, I'm just thinking maybe multiply the five and the 16, that will work pretty easily. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's an easier way, uh, maybe not. I think, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much the easiest way. So this is 11 over five times 16 over 16 minus 25 over 16 times five over five is equal to, so five times 16 is 80, it's gonna be 80 here, minus, and this is also going to be 80 here. Now we need to figure out what, what is 11 times 16. So 10 times 16 is 160, okay? Uh, and then so we just need uh, one more 16, it's 176. And then 25 times 5 is 125. Again, uh, 10 times 16, that's 160. And then you take another 16, that'll be 11 times 16, that'll give you 176. And then 25 times 5 is 125. Subtracting here the numerators, uh, 76 minus 25, is going to give us 100 and, uh, not 100, I'm sorry, 51 over 80. 1 over that will be sigma squared. That's going to be the variance. So this is the variance. That's our variance there. And uh, 51, uh, I believe, is three times 17. Yeah, three times seven is 21. Yeah, 51. So you can't really do anything with that. And then the last thing is the standard deviation. That's just the square root of the variance. That's gonna be the square root of 51 over. And you probably could simplify it a little bit, but I'm just going to leave it like that. So this would be your standard deviation. So we have everything here on the screen. Here is our mean, which is mu. Here is our variance, which is sigma squared. And here is the standard deviation, which is the square root of 51 over 80. And again, you could probably simplify it a little bit uh, by simplifying the 80. Just leave it. Kind of an interesting problem. Um, you just have to be really careful. Um, a calculator would have been helpful <laughs> right here a little bit, but you know, it's, it's sometimes good to work the mind a little bit and do things without calculators. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.